Okay. So in this video right here that I posted, I talked about the fact that I had owned an RX 580. At least I mentioned the RX 580 a few times. And I mentioned how before having to upgrade, mostly because I thought the card had stopped functioning, uh, that I would have stayed with it, you know. Um, so yes, I have something newer, but I would have stayed with my um, RX 580 for a while because it was suiting me just fine. While I was using that card, I had enabled SAM, Smart Access Memory, or Resizable Bar for NVIDIA. Well, I was able to enable it in the BIOS because of the motherboard that I have. And um, the interesting thing is, is that I was technically able to enable it and somehow have it impact the GPU. Now, in the drivers where uh, it would show up, like here, this smart access memory enabled right it wouldn't it would it would be grayed out it would be disabled on the RX 580 even though in the device manager under the graphics card it showed a difference in it showed a difference under the resources. See here how it says large memory range? Okay. So this right here, the large memory range that you're seeing is the same thing that shows up for the RX 580 after I enabled it in the BIOS. Again, the AMD software doesn't recognize it, but the actual hardware itself does. And I got the um, idea to try from reading about it in on the internet where I had uh, I went to it might have been Tom's hardware but don't quote me on that I'm, I'm not sure I just remember just being curious and searching out RX 580 smart access as memory and um, it's sure enough that you were able to enable it on that card and that's exactly what um, I'll be showing you here in this video all right, so I have an RX 580, and my understanding is that, um, what is it called? Smart, yes, yeah, Sam. Sam, smart access memory for AMD, mostly used for the RX 6600 series and above. I don't think it applies to, like, the 5500 and so on. Uh, but essentially, you know, they're newer graphics cards as opposed to something older, like, mine, the RX 580. However, I read somewhere on one of those uh, tech websites that you could actually enable smart access memory on this graphics card. Um, and I guess it's also something that people do if they were using their graphics cards for mining. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. So, settings. Advanced. And then PCI sub system settings so we'll click there now remember this is for this motherboard I'm not sure exactly what you'll find but it might be very similar close enough all right so under settings advanced PCI subsystem settings you'll find resize bar support and above 4G memory cryptocurrency mining support now the interesting thing here is they're both enabled and I had enabled resize bar when I had done that the motherboard automatically uh, enabled the uh, above 4G memory okay so there is something to this and I don't think it's all just about cryptocurrency because I could see a difference when I logged into Windows, it actually had to install something. It updated some sort of driver or, or it did something because it actually asked me to restart to um, to apply the settings. So I restarted that and also when I'm in Windows, there's a spot where I can see that it's actually enabled. And I can show you that as well. 
Uh, but that's how you enable it. Even on an RX 580, it does actually activate and it does show up different in the windows. What you do is you go over here and you right click on this, go to device manager, and then under device manager, go to your display adapter. For me, it's RX 580. And then after that, right click on it, go to properties, go to resources, and you'll see large memory range that's how that, that so that shows you it actually does activate and and does work on this gpu okay thing is if you're using an rx 580 and you go to look at your driver's software for like uh you know this here this software wow that's big okay this one doesn't show you that it's activated when you go and look at it it's just the way that works. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. With the MSI motherboard, I had showed you how to enable resizable bar, which is also known as SAM, Smart Access Memory for AMD. Now we're at a different machine. This is my girlfriend's computer, the one that I built for her. And what we're going to do is get into the BIOS and attempt to... Um, also enable smart access memory on this machine. However, um, that being said, let's get into Windows first and I'll show you what it looks like without it in enabled. Okay, so what we're going to do here is go, oh, oops, hold on a moment. I'm going to go to the device manager. All right, here we are. Okay. So under the device manager, and I do apologize that we're doing this with a phone. I'm not using OBS on my girlfriend's computer. We can do this on my computer using OBS for a clearer view after the fact, okay? So what you want to do is open up the device manager. And you want to, oh, oh, you want to go to, I'm trying to do this through the phone, so I'm not looking at the monitor, I'm looking at the phone. All right, so you want to go to your graphics card. Now, just the same. I'm using an RX 580 on my machine. Okay, this is just Gigabyte's version. Okay, Gigabyte. But I don't, th you know, I don't really think that that makes that much a difference. Okay, what is it doing? I don't know. All right, doesn't matter. Okay, so right click on it, go to your properties, and then under ah under resources. You see how it says memory range and like that's all it says is memory range. If you recall on mine, it actually said memory range and large access. Okay? So what we're, let's actually let's see if it's been if it's here like by default. I doubt it. But no, no. I don't say you know it should have been up at the top anyhow. Cuz that's the way it was on mine. All right, so anyways, ah, oh God, I'm trying to do this with the phone is not cool. All right, so let's close this up. And go into the BIOS. Mash away on our delete key. For you, it might be a little a different key, but you should be able to see a little thing that during the pop-up that tells you, like down there. Okay, we're in the BIOS. All right, so, oh, by the way, I did click advanced mode. There is a way to go to easy mode over here, if it'll pull up. Yeah, easy mode, F2, but I don't really think you would be able to, I don't know that you'd be able to access the same options if you were using easy mode. So I would say change to advanced mode, then you click over to settings, okay, after clicking the settings, go to your I.O. ports. Under that, you want right here. You see how it says above 4G decoding? When I enabled resizable bar on my computer, on my BIOS, it automatically enabled the above 4G decoding. Now, I don't know if that will happen here, but we can find out. Double click. Hey. Hey. Resize bar support. 
went from disabled to auto, interesting, as opposed to, and look at that. Yes, it does automatically do your above 4G decoding. So that's an auto, that's, that's what happens there. Just like on my other uh, motherboard. So the uh, functions are not terribly different just because you went from like gigabyte to MSI to gigabyte. Um, like I did, for, you know, like I showed you on my other machine. Now, now we've enabled it. Okay, now what we want to do is go over to save and exit. I'm going to save and exit setup. Okay. And we're going to end up getting back into Windows. And on my machine, when it went back into Windows, it actually had to install like a driver or uh, something to that effect. And it required me to restart the machine. I imagine that it will. Yep, there it goes. System settings change. Well, it looks like we're ready to restart. You have to manually restart. That clicking OK does not do the restart for you. All right, so now that we've done that, we went into BIOS, we enabled it, and Windows told us to restart, so we've done that. We'll go ahead and go into your device manager. And to verify that things worked, display adapters. Okay, resources, large memory range, see? That's how you know that it's been activated. Now, I don't know exactly how this works with games, if they're not, you know, uh, coded to work for the RX 580, or if it just happens automatically in the background, it's still sort of new to me. I just read an article stating that you could enable it for your RX 580s how it actually works after the fact I have yet to find out. All right, so that's how you enable resizable bar. All right. Thanks for watching.